friends welcome to senior to junior academy so as you know that we have started a lecture series on top core companies campus interview with explanation and this will be the second part of this series and the motto with which we started was to help the juniors so that they face uh, questions in the interview which with which they are familiar with and it will help them a lot so this will be the second part and the question that we upload is basically collected from your seniors who has already been the part of the campus recruitment and in and now presently working in the company so basically i have started this earlier and i have uploaded the questions from 1 to 5 in my earlier video and this will consist questions from 6 to 10 so this part will be for questions 6 to 10 and it will be again of the different companies so let's see what are the different questions that was asked so the first question that i will present in this part is your like it was in ask it tata cummings you know tata cummings is a company that manufactures your diesel engine for tata motors and the question they put forward was that what is cidi and state the various advantages of cidi so uh, cidi is basically a common rail direct injection what happens in CRDI is that you have a common rail that as the name signifies that common rail you have a common rail over here and the uh, in common rail what happens is uh, you have you put a fuel which is around 2000 bar such a high pressurized fuel is there and from this common rail every injector gets the fuel which is around 2000 bar and the fuel is injected into the cylinder directly so the most uh, important advantage is that you get the high power and torque with this kind of setup so this is a main design advantage of this your cidi and the how it is different from the traditional earlier approach was that in earlier model you have a separate fuel lines for each each injector so the pressure for each injection was different in earlier cases and they have to build the pressure in order to deliver but in cidi you have a high pressure in the rail and from this common rail a huge pressure is injected into the cylinder directly so you have a low noise and vibration and lower specific fuel consumption in this setup so uh, those who are not familiar with what is a specific fuel consumption i, re- I would request them to please visit my previous uh, video in which i have uploaded the specific fuel consumption and this was a question asked in your fiat or tasapur i guess and what happens in specific fuel consumption there you will understand so if a specific fuel con- if fuel consumption is less that means i have explained earlier that efficiency will be high and this is a main advantage why diesel has the lesser efficiency in this kind of setups and as also one advantage that like diesel vehicle is cheaper than petrol so with such kind of technology uh, you get the more robust and and uh, same system for the vehicle so which uses crdi technology the like everything has disadvantage this setup also has a disadvantage high cost and maintenance is a main disadvantage in such kind of setup so we will see to next question the next question was differentiate between hardness and toughness and this was asked in your sapulji and polanji so what is hardness and toughness first we will see hardness in hardness what happens is like uh, we will see this part first and third as you can see that for the same minor load this material has no indentation and this material has indentation by the way indentation means the amount of depth it can go inside so what do you think this part of the material is more harder or this part of the material is more harder as you see that there is a indentation so hardness less, this material is less harder as compared to this material so this is a simple meaning what is hardness there are of course various test by which you get the hardness of a material and one test is that of bickner's hardness test in bickner's hardness test what happens is that pointed object is put on the material and by the degree of indentation you get the degree of hardness how hard the material is the next is your toughness toughness is the ability of a material to absorb energy when it is impacted and you know that there are two methods to check the test first one was charpy and second one is iz so what uh, the panel in sapulji was uh, sapulji axis was differentiate between charpy and iz so i have tried my best to explain this in cha- in iz test what happens is your direction of impact is in the same direction as the nugget is made so you can see it will impact this material from this side and the direct and the nugget 
is facing the same side of the impact direction but in case of charpy water pen is when you you impact in this direction and your nugget direction is in this side so according to me this material will break faster so this is a two uh, this uh, difference between the your charpy and azed and this has been asked in panel by sapurji so this was the hardness and toughness i have added one more point that was not asked but i thought it would be a better to spend this Uh, resilience resilience is ability of a substance or object to spring back into shape once the load is removed like it is a kind of like it is like elasticity when you remove the load how uh, better it acquires its own position is your known as your resilience so next question you will see uh, next question is uh, is uh, what is the role of differential and this was asked in fiat basically let me first tell you where differential is like you have a engine then you have a plus then you have a gearbox then you have a propeller shaft then you have a differential then you have a wheel and like differential is sit here and you have there are, you have the wheels so what happens is <coughs> when your vehicle is turning the inner wheel has to travel a less distance as compared to the outer wheel so <coughs> in case this wheel need to turn less speeder and this wind to need wind uh, wheel need to turn at high speed so this is the role of differential it allows this to both the wheel to say, uh, turn at different rpm in order to maintain the same path of the vehicle another uh, advantage of differential is that it helps in high torque multiplication you know this is a uh, your pinion and this is your ring gear the ring gear is having almost 4 to 5 times bigger tip than your uh, pinion like it will have a 10 teeth then it will have around 40 to 50 teeth so speed reduction is taking place but since the power flow at the pinion and the ring gear is same means your power flow at the pinion and ring gear is same and the speed reduction is also taking place so this will help in torque to increase to the wheels so torque multiplication will take place in case of this set of differential another advantage is like power will be distributed to both the wheels equally in 90 degree flow this is a, another advantage in case of a differential but the prime advantage is that it will allow the vehicle to move to the path and it will uh, provide different rpm to both the wheels so that the vehicle is in the same path next one was the question is your explain the <coughs> your auto cycle and diesel cycle by pv diagram as well as ts diagram so everybody knows this pv diagram for auto and diesel this is uh, auto cycle and this is diesel cycle but very few know the how to convert it to a ts diagram so the panel in tata power wanted to know how you convert this pv to ts so they had asked the question they had to uh, draw auto cycle and diesel cycle and convert it to ts diagram so you know in pv diagram you have a suction line over here then you have a compressor then power then expansion then stroke then exhaust sorry and in pv you know there you have a constant volume heat addition and in diesel you know you have a constant pressure heat addition uh, see how this uh, volume is converted over here this was the main motto to ask this you know in ts uh, T, pv diagram you have a constant volume heat addition over there and in ts diagram you have a constant volume heat addition over there how do you change the slope of the Uh, volume graph volume in from pv to ts was the main motto to ask this question and also one should know the efficiency formula for auto cycle and diesel cycle this was a question asked in your tata power so we'll see the next question the next question that was asked in tata steel was the defects in casting process and this is a very expected question as tata steel manufactures steel and casting is related to steel so uh, there i have uh, put Five to six points are the defects, but there are many more. See, first one is the hot tears. What is hot tears? Is like uh, when you pour the molten metal at a such a high temperature, due to sudden contraction expansion going into the inside your casting process, what happens? You you get a crack in this part, and this is the called uh, your hot tear. This is a diagram for hot tear, and this due to hot tear. you get a unusual you can very well see this is a hot tear like you will be having a very huge cracks on the casting next one is your dross defect dross defect is basically your presence of impurities in casting when like we are drawing a molten metal over here at the time of addition of molten metal only some foreign particle get and 
stick over the molten metal and when this comes in the casting after solidification this will get stuck here so due to presence of impurities you get you get a cross defect next one is your blow holes blow holes is basically due to low permeability permeability is a uh, ability of a material to release something due, but due to low permeability your such as airs and other particles will get stuck in the casting zone and you will you will get a blow holes this is a blow holes this two part the blow holes in the cylinder next one is your pole shot pole shot is basically due to lack of fluidity like material is coming from this side molten material and another material is coming from this side so before merging only they will stop there due to lack of fluidity their temperature will come down and they will solidify in this part only and this part will not be filled so this is cold shot and mission is your basically same thing like molten material will come there and its target is to reach here but due to lack of fluidity and less temperature it will stop there only and this part will not be filled so this is mission your mission and cold shot is basically the molten metal defect as because of molten metal only you are getting these two defects your blow hole is a blow hole is your gas defect your hot tear is a metallurgical defect because this is totally depends on how it behave when you put the molten metal in the casting so this is a metallurgical defect blow hole, uh, blow hole is a gas defect and cold shot and mission is your molten metal defect so these are the 10 uh, 6 to 10 question that i have uh, uploaded in this part so i hope uh, you are getting a clear concept on all the question that i have been uploading any suggestion any anything that you would like to add to my video you are welcome to share that information on my uh, mail like senior to junior academy and those who want this ppt please uh, give me a mail on this i will definitely send this ppt to you all so thank you for watching and please share the video sharing knowledge will definitely help you only please subscribe to the channel so that next time i upload the video you get a notification in your mail uh, so i thank you on behalf of senior to junior academy and i wish you all the best for your placement i will upload the next part from uh, 11 to 16 question on the coming video i thank you all for watching